to a brand new tutorial. Now I've already made a tutorial about on contacts as in um, on collision events uh, although I did do a little oopsie in that tutorial because I told you that we needed to add a rigid body component to our um, object to our player so we can select a collision method although apparently this is not the case you don't need to add a collision method I'm not exactly sure how it works but it's pretty awesome because it calculates instead of collisions the actual objects mesh uh, meaning that you don't need to add collisions to use the on volume trigger although we still need the rigid body for the platform for it to block and things like that but we don't need it for the on volume which is awesome for what we're about to do so if we go into our main view we are going to add a spike uh, as an enemy player which is what we're going to do we're going to add a enemy and what we're going to do for that is just add a simple cone now as you can as you can see it has quite a few faces so we can go down to the add cone drop down window here and we can set the number of faces down to something pretty low poly something like that five seems good let me just select the selection tool and we can gz to move it up scale it a little bit, scale it on the Z axis so we can move it up a little and it's looking quite nice let's just center it by pressing G and uh, X to move it into the middle now what we want to do is we want to set some logic to this um, cone we want it to become the enemy so we're going to go to our visual script and tab and we are going to go to the player now in the player uh, script area here we have an empty space so we can go ahead and start coding. What we're going to want to get is the on volume trigger. On volume trigger. Once you have the on volume trigger make sure to select the player as the first object and the enemy, the cone, as the second object. Okay now what we want to do is we want to test it out so we're going to do a set object invisible and we're going to set the player invisible when it is colliding with the cone and we're going to test it out right now and in a second you should see that we have an enemy player set up although there will be a few problems for example when I click on the screen to rotate the platform the platform will rotate without player without the enemy and that's not cool that means we can't dodge it but it does work as you can see the enemy has disappeared and we can move the platform just not with the cone so what we're going to add is a simple material to this cone because it's bu bugging me bothering me and we can set it to a grey a greyish red maybe grey red for enemy okay all right and now we are going to select the cone, press shift, select the platform and now we're going to press ctrl p to parent and we're going to press parent to object now once we have this we should be able to rotate the platform with the cone rotating, rotating with it so we have a possibility to avoid the enemy instead of instantaneous death <laughs> which is always a good thing to have and as you can see now when we rotate the uh, player he disappears when he hits a cone and the cone rotates with the platform now this is great so uh, there you have a player control um, an enemy um, setup that has a uh, an event output and we can remove the uh, player or we can set the player invisible and we can set the scenes set scene active set scene that we needed to find I'm pretty sure I did a tutorial on this already and we have to set this scene here and as you can see once the player is invisible we're going to set the scene active as in load the scene scene number one which is our scene which is the only scene available so it's going to restart the level and to test this out normally the player should become invisible and the scene should be reloaded although it's probably best to add a timer between uh, when the player goes invisible and when the scene gets reloaded so you have a little time of reflection because as you can see it practically jumps to it so you can't you can't really tell and we are done so thank you very much and uh, as you can see when we restart the scene the score also restarts now the score is 
it isn't saved to any file yet we haven't actually saved or been able to load the score yet so it's just a, a counter really and in a previous, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you um, probably how to set a score uh, load a score and to save a score value using a um, yeah save a score value so thank you very much for watching if you haven't already consider um, uh, checking out the game jam that we're doing for Armour 3D and also follow uh, this channel and uh, I'm losing my words and my mind and I bid you a good day.